In today's video, we're going to be looking at whether or not the German short haired pointer likes swimming. Welcome back to the Fenrir German Short Haired Pointer Show. If this is your first time here, my name is Charlie and I'm a certified canine leader here at FenrirCanineLeaders.com. This channel is dedicated to helping you learn everything you could possibly want to know about the German Short Haired Pointer. Then how to become high level canine leaders that can raise the perfect German Short Haired Pointer. So if you're a lifelong lover, thinking about getting one or just started your journey with your new German short head pointer, then this is the channel for you. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you never miss a future upload. So then, let's get into today's video where we'll be looking at whether or not the German short head pointer likes to swim. In this video, we're focusing on the German short head pointer and whether or not they like swimming, but let's just look at dogs in general to begin with. Dogs are intelligent and complex animals, meaning that they're all different and all have their own personalities. I don't think it's too brave of me to say that you won't find any two exactly the same. And so regardless of the breed, there are many contributing factors to their ability and likeness to the water. Some breeds will be more eager than others to go for a swim, but that can be because of their breed history, training, socialisation, or even just the dog's own personality. We'll look at some of the main reasons why swimming can be good or not, and summarise the German short hair pointer as a breed at the end. The German short hair pointer was created to fulfil the need for a versatile hunting dog due to the rise of the German Empire in the 1880s. The heightened demand for meat and hides required a dog with a sensitive nose, discipline, and an instinct to focus on the hunt. The German short head pointers we know today were developed from the old Spanish pointers and Broc Francais with the addition of German bloodhounds for tracking and scent work purposes, whilst also softening the breed's temperament. In the 1860s, this mixture was further crossed with English pointers to improve their speed and pointing instincts. The end product was a sleek, intelligent, loyal and versatile gun dog with an incredible stamina, a highly developed pointing instinct and the eagerness to retreat game. And the game they retrieved can be from land or water. The versatility of the dog doesn't just apply to their incredible land work, but also their confidence and strength to locate game in water, collecting it and bringing it back to their owners. There isn't much this dog can't do as a hunting companion, and so it's safe to say that on the whole, the German short hair pointers do like swimming. So with that information, let's look a bit more into their abilities in water. Hey guys, if you want perfect puppies, like all my mates here are, and you're interested in how it is that as a professional canine behaviourist I go about raising and training perfect puppies, I have a completely free course that I think you might be interested in called The Principles to the Perfect Puppy. There'll be a link down in the description box below. It is completely free of charge and you can go and check it out right now, so I can't wait to see you over there. Not all hunting dogs are good swimmers. Some are better than others and the German short head pointer is one of those better ones. They're known to be proficient and confident in water when exposed and socialised correctly at a young age and as a whole they love being in water whether that's for work or play. Physically they're very well adapted to the water. The short but dense coat helps keep them warm and they have webbed feet and strong legs and a streamlined physique that helps them cut through the water with ease. And due to their extremely high energy levels, exercising them in the water gives them that little bit more of a challenge over having a romp around a field. Whether they're just playing about with the family at the beach or working to retrieve a duck from the water, you can be confident in their ability. You can even incorporate water work into their weekly obedience if you have the environment nearby. Training a pointer to do what they're instinctively bred for is a surefire way to encourage their brain effectively and strengthen your bond with them. But just remember that dogs are individuals and so have their own individual likes and dislikes. But with confident and appropriate socialising in and around water, you can have a confident pup in no time. So let's do a quick recap. The German short hair pointer is a hunting dog by design, efficient at retrieving from both land and water. They've accompanied hunters since the 1800s and are still one of the most popular hunting breeds today. And for good reason, as they're skilled in the water as they are on land. On the whole, the breed is made to be good in water. Their physical attributes make them streamlined and strong when retrieving from the water. But individually, you have to ensure that the correct socialisation is performed to give them the best chance of being confident in and around water. And don't be afraid to incorporate water into their training once you have socialised them. Engaging a working dog's natural instincts is an incredibly effective way to engage their brain to keep them happy and healthy. 
Well, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If so, make sure you hit that like button and get involved down on the comment section below. And don't forget, if you are new here, to make sure you subscribe. We have two dedicated German short hair pointer videos coming here every single week. So I can't wait to talk to you again on the next episode of the Fenrir German short hair pointer show.